circle time is a great way to engage children and make sure that they pay attention. It's a lot more fun as well. Now, there's all sorts of instruments that you can bring to class, but today we're gonna to talk about the rhythm sticks. They're probably, right after the egg shakers, one of the best ones for you to get for your circle time because they're so versatile. There's so much that you can do. And if you're out of ideas, I'll be sure to be adding some ideas to this video so that you'll be able to just click and go and listen to some rhythm stick activities you can use in your classroom. But before we even go there, I want you to be thinking, how am I gonna get these rhythm sticks in the hands of the kids? Well, that's just what one of our members of the Circle Time Facebook group asked me. Hey, I wanna use rhythm sticks at Circle Time, but I'm not exactly sure how to introduce them. So today, that's what I'll be answering in our Circle Time tip. Now, when I have new instruments, I know that my kids are looking at them going, I want my hands on them. That's good to know because that means they are gonna be hanging on my every word in preparation for getting them in their hands. What it also means is I need to use this opportunity to help them understand what to do and what to not do with their rhythm sticks now, or any instrument. If I were to wait though, pass them out to all the kids and then try to tell them, it's not gonna work that way. So I'm gonna get out the box and I'm gonna take out two sticks. I'm gonna pop the lid right back on it and put it behind me. Because let me tell you, if you don't do that, they're gonna wanna grab those rhythm sticks right away. So I take my sticks, I'll tell them about what the name of it is and then I'll play them. All right, so we're gonna play some rhythm sticks. Uh, you can tap them up high, you can tap them down low, you can tap them on your legs, you can go around and around and around. Look, I can even make a letter with it. But do you think it's okay to tap them on your friend's head? No, of course not. Now, just want to let you know that if you didn't cover that, they might tap it on their friend's head. We want to make sure to be very good with our sticks and we don't ever want to hurt anybody. So I might go through a few things. We can do this, but we can't do this. We can do this, but we can't do this. And that just kind of helps them understand what we can do with the rhythm sticks. But I say, if someone forgets and they do something that we shouldn't do with our rhythm sticks, the rhythm sticks get a timeout, not the child. Now, this timeout is going to be very short. It's like, you know, maybe you give them one warning, like, please, please keep your rhythm sticks to your body when you've seen them tapping on somebody. Uh, and then after that, you say, oh, looks like you need to take a break with your rhythm sticks. So you take the rhythm sticks, put it in the box, and then social um, pressure honestly does the work of the, of the um, child wanting them back. So all you need to do is put them away for just a minute or so, and then bring them out and give them, give them back to the child. They don't need to not have them the whole entire, you know, couple activities that you might do with them. So that's a fun way. Now, of course, You've, un you've helped explain them, you need to get them into the hands of the kiddos. So what I recommend is using one of the transition songs like two for you and two for you, two for you and two for you. Or maybe you have a favorite piggyback song that you can sing or say as you pass around the sticks. You want to do that because you need to make sure that all the kids are staying focused on you and not paying attention to someone else. But because you have that box of sticks or whatever the instrument is, they want to pay attention because they want them. And as soon as you get about half the group with their sticks, you're gonna want to be giving some sort of instruction. And that's what I like to do is even kind of build that into the song. So if I'm two for you and two for you, two for you and two for you, two for you and two for you and even two for you, can you play them way up high, way up high, way up high? Can you play them way down low, play them way down low? By the time I've probably gone through something like that and just kept them busy with it, I'm back to my spot. Every child has the rhythm sticks. So have fun with rhythm sticks. Have fun with hand drums, scarves, shakers, and all of that. When we get our children actively involved in the music making experience, they stay engaged. Discipline issues grow, go down. Have fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check that subscribe button so you're always up to date on all of our new videos. Thank you again and we'll see you soon.